Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a colorful makeup tutorial. I think it would be perfect for springtime or festival season or you want to just rock this bitch to work, you go on with your bad self. I wouldn't rock it to work though, but I would rock it. And I don't normally wear colors like this, but mm -hmm. yes girl. Let's go ahead and prime our lids. I'm going to use a little bit of concealer and the RCMA no color powder to set that. Let's do it. I almost put this like on my nose. You yeah, gotta see that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna blend that out with the beauty blender. And immediately I am going to set it with the RCMA powder. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I'm gonna just put that on my finger and put it on my lid. Closest to the lash, lower lash line. <sighs> closest to the lash line. Closest, did I say closest? Closest to the lash line. Okay, now I'm gonna set that with a white um, eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using the Morphe. 35B palette. I love this palette. I'm using the white edge right here just to set that. Okay, now I'm going to take a crease brush and the color Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to put that on my crease as a transition shade. Okay, now I'm gonna take Chickadee from Makeup Geek, which is like a orangey yellow color, and I'm gonna put that on my crease as well. Okay, now with a flat, um, what is this called? A flat shader brush? A flat brush. I'm going to start with color. I'm going to be using this yellow right here, this orange, and this pink. I'm going to start off with the yellow, and then the orange, and then the pink. So, take that yellow, and I'm going to put that on the inner corner of my eye. Okay, now with the same flat brush, I'm just going to wipe it off, and I'm going to use, or go into that orange color. blend both colors together. And if you lose intensity of the yellow, just go back in it. Back more. And now I'm gonna go on with this pink color and put that on the outer corner and just blend it with the orange. Okay, now back with that chickadee color. Put it back. I'm going to add a little bit more to my crease. Okay, now with a small brush, I'm going to use I'm going to use this nude color right here to highlight my brow bone. Okay. Now with makeup geeks shimmer shimmer. I'm going to put that on my inner corner with the same brush. Okay now with this Makeup Geek dual chrome pigment and the color hologram I'm going to lightly pat that all over my lid. I'm not going to rub so I don't remove the color but I'm just going to lightly pat it. that blending brush and then go back in and just blend everything. Alright, 
now time for some liner. I'm gonna be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Now to the lower lash line, I am going to, I'm actually gonna tight line. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Precision Liner in black. Okay, I've already timed my face. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline um, Femi Foundation in the color 240. And I'm just going to put that on with a foundation brush. not even my color. I'm so dark. I'm way too dark for this color. Or this color is way too light for me. I don't know what it's like. I got a stash. Okay, moving right on to concealer. I'm going to be using the same concealer I used to prime the L'Oreal True Match in the color W4.5. Okay, now before I set that, I'm going to bronze my face. I'm using the Sephora Airbrush Bronzer. And a flat brush. Or a dome brush. All right, now we're gonna set the rest of the face. I am going to use the same powder, the RCMA powder, and a tapered brush, and I'm just gonna tap out. Okay, now we're gonna move on to contouring. I'm gonna be using same shit, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm gonna actually just use this dark color since I'm pretty dark right now. And now with the same brush that we used to bronze, I'm gonna just blend it all out. I'm gonna bake my contour a little bit. Same powder. Alright, with the lower lash line, I am going to take this small little lower lash line brush, I guess. I don't know what it's called. And I'm gonna go in with the same colors that I used. I'm just gonna lightly do the same thing. Start on the outer corner with the pink. I'm actually gonna change the brush to a little bit of a bigger brush. Okay, now I'm gonna Take that Maybelline um, pencil, pencil. I'm gonna blend that out one more time with a clean brush, and I'm going to lightly put this on not on my waterline, but on my lash line. Not all the way in either; just about three quarters of the way. I like it. We're gonna go in with the black liner. Put it on our waterline. I think it'll look better. Yes. Alright, now move on to lashes. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Yummy. Okay, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Lash Blast. Lightly coat my lashes. Now I'm going to be using the Coco Lashes and Goddess. I love these. Okay, lashes are bam in your face. Now let's uh, coat our lower lash line with mascara. 
Oh, we're gonna highlight. I'm gonna use the Benefit High Beam and a little stippling brush. I'm gonna tap that where I want it to go. And with my Beauty Blender, I'm gonna just blend it all out. Now for a highlight, I'm going to be using the Carly Bible, Bible, yeah, Bible palette, and I'm going to be using this second highlight right here. Just kind of flat blush brush. All right, now for lips, I think I'm going to keep it fairly neutral. And I'm going to use a NYX natural uh, lip pencil. Okay, now I'm gonna use two MAC lipsticks. I haven't used a MAC um, lipstick in so long, but I'm gonna use Hoop and Myth. I'm gonna use. All right, you guys, this is a completed look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the next one. Uh, girl, that highlight though. I just love. I just love everything about this look. Very fun. I hate how there's a wrinkle. Do you see that wrinkle? Oh.